Hello and welcome to SB's Academy. The lesson for this video is skills tested by recruiters during a group discussion. Like SB's Academy's page on Facebook and subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow SB's tips for videos, posts and reels on communicative English and soft skills. Do check the comment section for the links of the shorter videos clipped from this longer content for your convenience. Links for the sources and references have been posted in the comment section. Links to the YouTube channel and Facebook page are posted in the caption and description box. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Happy learning! This week, we shall take a look into how behavior management skills are tested during a group discussion or how does management of a candidate's behavior pave way for a successful evaluation in a group discussion. Easily getting into a heated argument is not the objective of a group discussion and you may be giving many negative signals through your body language. Aggression can be modulated in the form of assertiveness during voicing out an issue. A group discussion is not merely to impress the conductor, but putting forth your firm beliefs. Group discussions are knockout rounds and never consider any participant weak. Lamely looking around for someone to give you a chance may not always work. You have to find a place for yourself. Dress appropriately as grooming speaks a lot. Monotone garments are fine. One should have a winning attitude. The sub-skills that comprise the testing criteria for behavior management in group discussion to be covered in the session are Number 1. Emotional control Number 2. Grooming Number 3. Building necessary personality traits Number 4. Body language Subskill number one, emotional control. Group discussion is a tool to measure one's behavioral, emotional and psychological attributes. The idea is very popular in the corporate world where many multinational companies use emotional quotient tests to help their employees determine and measure their emotional responses to various situations. Group discussion evaluates one's emotional quotient a measurement of one's ability to monitor one's emotions, to cope with pressures in addition to demands to control one's thoughts and actions. If someone has a low emotional quotient, they might lack confidence and be pessimistic, both of which might affect one's performance while doing tasks. It is checked on the basis of the candidate's participation, leadership qualities, problem-solving capacity, time management skills and handling turbulence. When a candidate is given a topic, instead of highlighting what the problems are, it is better to give possible solutions for the topic. Before coming to the conclusion, one should analyze the problem and has to choose the best possible solution for the problem. Subskill number two under behavioral management is grooming. The candidate must be dressed formally in neat and clean clothes as the first thing that catches the eye about a person is grooming. It is the first impression that matters a lot. Keeping this in mind, one should dress up well and pay attention to their grooming. The way you dress up has a huge bearing on how people perceive you. Some organizations provide a degree of leeway in their dress code as a modest way to recognize personal freedom. If you have not been specifically communicated about the dress code, you should opt for a moderately to strict formal wear. Ladies should avoid wearing heavy makeup and dangling earrings or clanking bangles. Men should ensure that they keep, they keep their accessories to the minimal and do not display large tattoos to avoid looking awkward. Subskill number three under behavioral management is building necessary personality traits. Acquire virtues of character such as humility and patience. If you practice 
problem solving skills through multiple case studies using different methods you can acquire this skill easily candidates who possess decision making ability are sure to make a mark on the examiner at any given point in time the examiner might expect a decision from you if you do not know how to make a decision you might fumble and miss out on the chance of making it to the next round the examiner will lay at most focus on how you respond to a particular situation the problem put in front of you needs to be comprehended well to draw the right inference let's take a look at the fourth sub skill of behavioral management for assessment and group discussion that is body language one should pay attention to body language during a group discussion as these are the things that are noticed by the recruiters they pay very close attention to the way a candidate carry themselves and speak do not point at others do not cross hands instead use them while talking hands facing up and open suggest a confident personality sit erect do not slouch and don't bite nails when you walk in for a group discussion you not only convey your ideas but you also present your whole self to the audience give importance to your style accent facial expression and body language to make the final cut body language forms the chief basis of nonverbal communication ignoring this element overrides all other diligent and persistent exertion applied by a candidate towards preparation for a group discussion a positive body language or a posture with a straight back and a slightly tilted head is always desirable appropriately mild facial expression along with effective eye contact depicts your maturity and guts do not express anger or apathy as they are perceived as negative emotions do not be over excited or euphoric display dignity and firmness this is not an exhaustive list of parameters on which you shall be evaluated the five part series provides a glimpse of only some of the major skills for basic guidance there are many other skills that you may come across during your study and make sure to brush them up as well now if you've been reading through and paying attention it should be crystal clear that a big pile of possible glitches are there to pop up and disrupt your progress in a group discussion now instead of being skeptical and wary of preparation you should note that most of them are interrelated and try to adjust and train yourself for the contest just treat them positively and regard them as possible learning points rather than blockages on your way you are going to find that nothing is impossible in the world and mastering a gd is only a ploy of the attitude you possess thanks for watching the video like share and comment on what else you would like us to cover subscribe to the channel on youtube and follow the page on facebook for sb tips reels posts videos on communicative english and soft skills happy learning